Hey there, crypto traders. Welcome back to your Coinergy technical analysis tutorials. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the relative strength index. It is an oscillator that you can use to spot the change in trends. Now, to calculate the RSI, you don't really need to know the math behind it. It's pretty simple. It basically is the average percent gain for X number of days divided by the average percent loss per X number of days. And this calculation is tabled into an index from 1 to 100. Now, the lower the number on the index, the weaker the specific security is that you're analyzing, and the stronger the number of the index, the stronger the security is. Now let me just show you how to put one of these RSIs on a chart using Coinigy's platform. Now what we're looking at right here is Litecoin versus the US dollar. This is on the GDAX exchange. And I'm looking at a daily chart. So each one of these candles is one day's worth of trading. Now if you click this little indicator tab right here and you type in RSI, and click on relative strength index it will populate the RSI underneath your chart now I have really bad vision so I need to bring this chart up a little bit so there's a little wheel here you can click on and these are your properties so I like to make the line a little bit brighter because I can't see anything the color is fine and then inputs now the standard or the default that most traders use is 14 days that's two weeks time I know some people use 10 days when they're trading like Forex markets because they just encapsulate the Monday through Friday trade and not the weekends but with cryptos you get to trade on Saturday and Sunday so I use the 14 day period and then style everything is pretty much the same the standard format is to use a little line when it drops below 30 and then a little line so you can see when the RSI is above 70. So I'm going to just make these brighter. And you'll see that the RSI rises and falls with the price momentum of Litecoin. It's one thing to look at this and say, wow, RSI is above 70, it's overbought, maybe it's time to sell, or RSI drops below 30, it's oversold, then it would be time to buy. But a better way to use the RSI is to look for divergences. And divergences, what you want to see is when the price breaks to a new high, but the relative strength isn't breaking to a new high. And a lot of times this leads to a reversal. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. In April, Litecoin hit a new six month high, it traded all the way up to $95 a coin. And the RSI was very overbought, it reached 85 and then the market consolidated for a little bit and then it started to rally again in May finally we got another breakout in the price of Litecoin where it went to 140 but the RSI didn't confirm this move you look at RSI it only reached 67 this wasn't even overbought territory so some of you may say well it's not really overbought it could go higher but if this top had sold off like we, we saw to 112 the RSI was showing you a signal that there was a divergence between the oscillator and the price of Litecoin. And this is a bearish indicator when you see this. If the opposite had happened, if let's say Litecoin was selling off and the RSI did not drop to a new low, but the price of Litecoin did, it's usually an indicator that the price has bottomed. And that's how I like to use RSI in my trading. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out Coinergy.com and the Coinergy channel on YouTube.